If I say crop circles to you, you probably think maybe science fiction or UFOs. However, a nationally recognized artist is using crops as a canvas right here in the Austin area. Stan Hurd is working in a wheat field northeast of Maynard. It's at the intersection of FM 973 and Greg Lane. All new at 6, KV's Jade Mingus takes us there. This wheat field is a golden landscape. The wind softly waves the amber grain. For one man, the serene setting means hard work. This is just a nice handheld tool. This is my scalp. Dan Hurd isn't harvesting. He's getting his hands dirty to make a masterpiece. This wheat is Hurd's canvas. His paintbrush, a weed eater. Tractors plow the land into broad brush strokes. That's me on the tractor. His work is commonly known as crop circles. They fascinate the world, headline Hollywood movies, and mysteriously appear with no explanation. I love the fact that it's a mystery. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's a bunch of people. Nobody does that kind of work and doesn't take credit for it. I'm just saying. This area here. Herd's work is no secret. He simply maps out his project, walks the field, and marks it with flags. GPS doesn't do much for me. I mean, I just see, I've got to see it. A brewing company hired her to recreate this image for a Belgian ale called Shock Top. A handful of workers add limestone and mulch to complete its design. This project is drawing a lot of attention. Cars slow down when they drive by. One man was so curious, he came here to find out what was going on, and then he got involved. Instead of just sitting at home. Thomas Traver is between construction jobs. He lives half a mile from the project and wanted to contribute. I think everyone has an artist in them, you know. You can't truly appreciate this collaboration from the ground. The seemingly random lines make sense from above. You can clearly see the scope of Herd's work. The project encompasses five acres. The son of a farmer, it's Herd's own harvest. I've reconnected with my roots by making art on the land. To truly appreciate this creation, it all depends on your perspective. Jade Mingus, KVU News.